there. It's going to wait a couple of minutes for the room to load, and I'm still getting ready. So there's that. <laughs> so imagine your favorite hold music playing and sing that song to yourself while everything loads. Um, it could be Lionel Richie's Hello. I want to dance with somebody. It could be Whitney Houston, I want to dance with somebody. Um, you know, the sky's the limit. So just give me a couple of live finish getting ready. <laughs> While I'm getting ready, I'll just say hi to Donnell, Ruth Ann, Sherry, Susie B, Paula, Michelle, Mel B, Benji, and Ruth Ann. See, I love it when it's hey easy everybody. like that. Hello, everybody. Oh. Everybody having a good Father's Day? Hello. And now I got hello stuck in my head. I did that to myself. See how that works? This is me. Uh, damn, damn it. <laughs> now I'm just going to be in my head the whole live. Uh, I can feel it in your eyes. I can see it in your eyes. Well, whatever. I don't know that song. I can taste it in your smile. <laughs> oh, God. Still wrong? Damn. You're all I ever wanted. And more. And my eyes are open wide. Oh, see, that, that was, I don't know that song. I know the beat to it like something. I could, I could throw in something for you. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Linda. Sorry, give me a few seconds. I'll be, I'll be writer's rain momentarily. Hi, Julie Marie. I want to thank all the people. Like, it's nice seeing new names uh, from all the memberships that were gifted. And thank you to everybody who's gifted so many memberships to people. It's Hi nice. Everybody. It's nice seeing like new names and getting new opinions. So, um, I've really been appreciating that. I can't get my lighting right and it's driving me crazy. I'm sorry. It's like right in my face. Almost there. Do you think if we swap that one out? That one with like the dimmer light with that one and put that one. No, we just have to fix the ring light. <laughs> My ring light was um, collateral damage on a live. <laughs> I was mad. <laughs> but it's still working. We just can't find a piece to it. Okay. There I am. Hi, everybody. No, no. Yeah, all right. At least it's not right in my eyes. Hello, everybody. No, it's good. We're good. It's, 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 it's as good as it's going to get. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> As Josh would say on Project Runway, <laughs> this is what you get for tonight. <laughs> That's it. This, this is what you get. <laughs> Tomorrow, it's a different day. Well, you know, and again, my sister, she finally got the membership last night. So, you know me, I, I'm always a sucker for a jean jacket. 
Uh, and it's still like kind of like cold out here yeah, at night. It's we're not quite where like it's like hot all the time. So I can it's still wear like during the day, and then it's like sixty to like fifty eight at nighttime. So like jackets and like scarves are like my favorite accessories. Too bad you can't wear scarves in the summertime because I would wear a scarf every it's day chilly, but we're on the beach so it's 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 still breezy hey so doby a cool wind so it's 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 still chilly over with that i don't know if they'll replace that it was uh but it, it's fine it's just like i'm missing one part that connects like the ring light to the stand i can't find it so <clears throat> as soon as we find that part somewhere oh no that broke off as soon as we find that part somewhere, it'll be it'll be fine. Hey Sheila, so I you know I watched Ninety Day Fiance. Well, I watched the first forty five minutes of it, and I couldn't take it anymore, so I just shut it off. But we'll be live about that tomorrow night to talk about it. But I tried watching it when it was live, and um. Huh. That show is so awful. So I went, hey, Jewel. So I went live the last two nights with nothing to talk about. And I'm wondering if I could pull off the hat trick. I am in my, my Christine Brown jean jacket. I don't think anybody could stomach her. And I can't stomach the new Catholic lady. Like... Listen, I'm a diehard Catholic, and I've never heard someone say the Hail Mary quite like her before. <laughs> like, I, you know, I uh, so that should be interesting. But I, I, I only watched the first 45 minutes of it, and I couldn't take it anymore. It was, I think I, I shut it off when Gino and Jasmine were on. And I'm like, nope, that's it for me for tonight. I, I got to watch it in small doses. So... Yeah, um, last night was super fun. Friday was super fun. I'm like, and I said I was going to take the day off, but screw it. Yes, Wendy, I did see your live that you sent me. It was really good. Yeah, d don't even bother. I'm only doing it because y'all forced me to. And I hate it. I, I really, I just hate every second of it. I do. But, you know, I'm going to keep it going. I did. I did. I saw it. I loved it. Um, let me drop the link if anybody wants to come up. It's going to be like a free-for-all, really. There you go. Um, so... I was talking to Cody earlier about um, superstitions. Hey, Christina B. And I was wondering if you guys follow superstitions to the letter like I do. Um, do you know what my... Cody, you should move your car. Oh, did they move? Yeah. Well, you could put it in the driveway. I just don't want you to get a ticket. Oh, my spot's up with... Okay, so yes. sorry, yes. it's season. Parking here is a nightmare. Um, so superstitions. Hey, Heather. Oh, I'm so happy to see you back. Um, well, my biggest superstition is splitting a pole. Do you guys follow that superstition, like how you can split a pole? It's kind of embarrassing to a level. But one of my diehard suspicions always has been like, you can't split a pole. So if you're walking with somebody and like, there's like a pole in between you or like a fire hydrant or like a sign, you have to walk on the same side of it. Am I the only crazy person that does that? That is like my go-to superstition. You can't split a pole. Like, I don't care about, like, walking on the cracks. Like, you know, you can't walk on the the sidewalk crack. Like, I don't care about that one. But splitting a pole is, like, Bible to me. <laughs> K 
can't split a pole. And like it's embarrassing because Cody will walk. And then like he'll 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 like attempt to split a pole. And then they have to like backtrack, go behind, and unsplit the pole and walk around. Yeah, under a ladder. Yeah, that that's yeah, I don't I don't do that either. Don't don't like walking under a ladder. That's also taboo. Like, you know, was it? walk on a crack break your mother's back what is that stupid saying i don't know whatever that's saying i don't care about cracks but um the splitting a pole is my number one go-to with superstitions and like now that we're in season now that we're in season uh we were on the boardwalk and there was like a, a pole and there's so many people here now and like cody like split the pole and I had to like walk down and unsplit it and walk around it because I'm crazy. Well, you, okay, so yes, throwing the salt behind you. So you do that when you spill salt. And then you have to like throw it. Do you know the, the, the reasoning behind that? Because um, I'm a historian, I can tell you. That came to light because when you spilled something, they felt that the devil was like behind you. So what you would do is that you would, you would take the salt and you would throw it and you would blind the devil who was like on your shoulder. There you go. Hold on. I have a graphic for this. There you go. And now you're all enriched with that knowledge. True story. Okay, so is it just me? Oh, my sister. Do you like the same blood that I do? Well, I know you do. But like, do you get... That was stupid. Do you get like um, bitten by mosquitoes to death? Like mosquitoes love to bite me. And like I get it the worst at my ankles. Well, you have no hair on your ankles, John. My ankles is the worst. Like I get bitten alive on my ankles from mosquitoes. See, See there it is. is. Cody is like a walking. Cody is like a walking can of like what's that spray you put on you? Deet the deet. Off. The deet the, the deep woods off. The, off. the deet. I think it's just Cody is off. like a walking can of deets. I like, get nothing. Bugs, but also, they don't bother me. I think it's because I'm always running like hot blood, and like they're like, oh, that's heat. No, thank you. Like, ugh. it's so annoying. But. Because we could be bit. outside, and I, I will be bit from bit. pillar to post, and he'll be like, he's like a like a walking citronella candle, doot, 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 but only for himself. But me, yeah, just for he's like Bella from, from Twilight yeah. with the shield. Yes, that, yes, yes, that's me. Yes, and he has he has to like extend it. his shield to me <laughs> so I don't get bit. Can't stand it. Even during like the cold, like John's freezing, I'm burning up. So he sleeps like pretty much on top of me to like stay warm. And I'm like, Ugh, I'm so hot. I'm sweating. It's so. Meanwhile, it's like negative five. And I'm like, I'm sweating. It's so I goddamn annoying. That. I need AC. <laughs> oh, there's Georgie. It's Georgie's first Father's Day. Hey, so hey. Georgie gave me an old necktie that I had for Father's Day he today. Did. He did. He did. He came in with his mouth and he gave me a necktie for the, it's his first Father's Day. And one sock. And a, and a singular sock, which was dirty, but it's okay. The thought was there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it's his first Father's Day. But I can't stand him with the deet. Like, he never gets bit. God, when we were at Megan's house, we would like, I would, it was like, I was, water and stuff, I like was with, in hell with the gnats and all that other stuff. Like, oh, it was horrible for him, but they didn't bother me. They, they didn't, the, no, they bothered, they bothered me enough for the both of us. It was, 
I mean, like they would fly around my ears, and I'm like, ugh, like ugh. But I never got bit. It's, it's, I got it. Georgie. Pudge a pudge. Pudge a pudge. Oh my God! You know what I found out today that they make um, teacup cats, and I want one. They're mini cats. Like a miniature teacup kitties that never grow. And no, they do grow. They just have. Short they grow legs. like a little bit. <laughs> they just have short legs. <laughs> they still grow. <laughs> and I really want one bad. Because now he's like all big now. He's like no fun. He's like a regular cat now. Like Georgie. I want a horse. That's what sucks. I want a horse. Kittens grow. I mean, he's technically still a kitten. He's only. He's a year and a month old. Bye, Georgie. There he goes. Um, but I just want like a little tiny cat that never grows. I, I could hold in my palm like that, and they take everywhere with me. Well, that's not possible. Like, not, not, like a gremlin, <laughs> or like a Furby, like a Furby size kitten that never that never grows that's beyond the size of a Furby. There's my Furby. You heard her. Once I have nostalgia, oh, look, yeah, Georgie. Look, I saw my Furby. There he is. Who has a Furby? Anybody have a Furby? Hello. I had to pay a lot of money for this Furby, so I will. I will. My mom still has hers in the box because it was the first ones that came out that actually talked about like military stuff and like whatever. We should put ba- like new batteries in him and play with him again. Oh, no, I'm scared. He might watch me. I had to buy this Furby at like the Roosevelt Field Mall, like when the Furby craze was going on. And I think I was like, it was like 1999 or 98. And this, this, this Furby here cost me like $300. My mom paid $790. And I had to buy this off of some bootlegger in Roosevelt Field Mall. We were talking about that the other day. Who was standing outside KB Toys, like with the jacket, like, you know, like the, the flashers, like, you know, you need watches type of shit. Like, you remember those people? Yeah. Like, the, those guys? And, like, you know, he, he was watches, he was standing friend. right outside Gabby's. <laughs> He's what? like, you don't want Furbies? And I'm like, what, you got Furbies? He's like, Pfft. and, um, yeah, I had to pay $300 for him. That's my Furby. He's got the tag on him. Actually, what batteries do we have? Like, I him? think they're double, I like, think can I you can... open it up? It's a Phillips head. Okay. Let me see. Let's get him because... working. I have like the beanie babies. Remember the beanie babies? Again, another thing I fell victim to. I was going to gas stations in like Okeechobee, Florida, because like they had like the ghost. And like, you know, I think I paid. (laughs) Boo, he was my favorite. And I think I paid like two hundred dollars for Princess, and now you can get Princess for like ten cents on eBay. Um, I paid like three hundred dollars for Erin, the green one. I still have them all because no, Erin's Aaron's actually very expensive. Yeah, it's well maybe in like Guatemala. I don't know about here, but um, I still I still have all the Beanie Babies. We spent so much money on them, and I refuse to throw them out. I'm like, no, one day. <laughs> Like your, your three bins that we have of the Beanie Babies, like which one are you gonna throw out to save some room, dog? Which bin? And me and my friends would go on missions to find them. This is before, like, you know, social. Again, this is like the late '90s, so there was no social media really, other than AOL. Um, but yeah, we used to go on goose. Like we 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 drove to different states, nice. like. They have like Boo and like some gas station in Springfield, Massachusetts. Let's go. And then we call them and tell them to like hold it for us. Like we were like. And I have all those beanie babies still. Does anybody want a beanie baby collection? Because I have one for you cheap. It's good. Oh my God, Cody is reactivating my Furby as we speak. That Furby has not been no, all. I, have to, I can't because I don't have double A's. We don't have double A batteries. I don't. I have. Can't you take it out of a remote or something? 
done for triple A's. I don't have double A's. We have to have double A batteries in this house somewhere. I mean, there's got to be something here. That over, what about what about the Harry Potter lamp? Huh? The lamp for Harry Potter. I need four. Dang. Yeah. Four double A's? Yep. One, two, three, four. Hmm. What about the draw? We don't have any. We really don't have any double A's? I don't have double Can we get like that big giant battery pack with like 18 batteries in it? Triple. Triple A's. I have triple A's. I have triple A's and I have C packs. I have if you need to run like a generator. Do you have a nine volt? Batteries for that. Like, I really want to play with the Furby now. <laughs> I got a fucking pack of those. Like, what are these? They're the C's. Who needs this many C batteries? I don't know. Look, Look we have we have know. we have a whole box of C batteries. Listen, does anyone want to come over? No. I'll trade you a whole box of C batteries. Look, for um four double A's. Batteries. Did anybody send any memberships? Okay, so I can do three. What we need here. four. I can do three. I know I'm trying to think. But Let me know so I could open up YouTube. I'm trying, like, now I'm, like, really invested in the Furby situation. I fall asleep because these aren't, you've already used these. No, so. we, we barely ever use that, though. The battery should be nice and crisp. Princess Diana was the purple one with the with the white rose. Well, we have a lot of C's. I mean, this is full of them. I don't, I don't even know what we use C batteries. Do we? What What is our purpose with this? What do we use C batteries in this house for? I don't know. I bought them when they were on sale. <laughs> Because you never know when you know, when you might need them. Of course, when you might need them, they, they, this is full. I mean, we've never used one of them. Well, because we haven't had an issue yet to even need them. Like, what do we need? Like, fifteen, 15 flashlights? Like, what the fuck do you put C batteries in? Do you have a flashlight? No, well, <laughs> which makes it even worse. Now I got the batteries for them. So there you go. Like, I don't even know what you do with this many C batteries. Like, I guess, like, when the zombie apop apocalypse comes, like, we'll be good. And you're welcome. With the flashlights we don't have. We have the batteries and no flashlights. I said that I will get the flashlights to put them in, but listen, when they're on sale, I'll buy them. I get them. I'm always covered. You just use all my batteries. Like double A is like the most important battery. It's like the most well, common battery. And that's the one that you use all the time. So I'm sorry that I that I can't keep up with it. How well you according to you, all we have are triple A needs with the remotes. Well, it's called less power. Go green. Smaller the battery, the less energy. Batteries. Remember, like, they were saying, like, the Furbies? And I just lost Oh, and he just, and then one battery just rolled the under the oven. So now we're down to two. Oh, well. Sorry for you. Oh, well. So now we're down to two eight double A's. Huh? Now we're down to two double A's? No, I lost the screw to screw it back in, so. Oh, even better. <laughs> now you're screwed. <laughs> yeah, like, they had, like, the, um... Like there was like one thing like about Furby's like giving like government secrets and stuff like that. That's the one that my mom has. Susie she B, has the I'm very first one. I'm not quite sure how many steps it takes for us to get to Seven Eleven, but I know that there are YouTubers that have counted them. So um, check out their channels because. Okay. Okay. Hold on. 
Hold on, Cody wants a, a, a word. All right, so we have three batteries. We need the fourth. Where right, I'm looking around the house. What do we have here that needs a battery? Uh, does your use it or no? The vibrator. Yes. I, I, my vibrator. No, that that's turbocharged. That that works on solar power. Mine takes. A I, car I just leave it out in the sun for a few hours, and it's it's good to go. Mine's so, a car battery. So. Um, <laughs> You know, gotta, we, you know, we're very green conscious in this house. So solar power, vibrators, you know, the works. Hold on. I'm trying to look for something that has a battery. A board game? Do any of the board games have batteries? Like Operation? Did we have Operation? No, but if we did have Operation... And oh, there was well, a then there you go. No, it would probably take a seat. <laughs> That I have. If we did have operation <laughs> and it, it did have a double A, that would have been a great find. And I'm I'm a little it upset. It takes a C, probably. <laughs> that we don't have it. Which I do have a C, but. Wait, I'm trying to find something with a battery. We, like, it's so rare that you need batteries anymore. Oh, oh, oh Cody, the clock. But it I also. I don't think this battery is working anymore because that stopped giving time a long time ago. Well, then I don't need a dead battery. Oh, my God. I can I, put the own dead batteries back it, into the fucking furry. This is the clock for my college. I'm like, oh, my God, jackpot. Like, you know, this is what you get when you graduate. I was valedictorian, so they give you a clock. Woohoo! Um, and then I'm like, oh my god, a battery. And then I looked at the time. I'm like, oh no, that that this hasn't given this battery stopped a long ago. <laughs> Wait, hold on, we're gonna find one. I promise. Battery. If I was a battery in my house. Where would I be? Battery, battery, battery. Not in my house. Wait, let me look at the board games. How about Uno? No. Through your pursuit? No. Apple to apples? No. Oh, this doesn't this have a battery in it? Oh, that's already been used. Nope. Welcome to our uh, Jesus. One battery. Sorry, I'm in the bedroom now. I'm trying to find a battery. Battery. Where the This is really disappointing. Wow. Okay. We just don't have a battery. We don't have a battery. Three of the four, maybe it's because uh, full packs of fucking triple A batteries. We have plenty of triple A batteries and we have plenty of C's. If somebody wants to come over and do a trade. But I did not find a fucking double A. All right, well Apple Jacks, I don't know why you want to lift a look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> okay, right. not a lot of people are gifted memberships, so that's why you have one. So that's fine. No battery. The Furby. We can't unleash the Furby's evil. For another night, it seems. Sad. Shut up. Did you find one? I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't what know was it in? Dead. In the drawer. In the bedroom. I don't All know. All right, we found a fourth work. battery. We don't. Dead. It might be dead. We don't it know. Might be dead. I don't know, but it's hold on. It's in the drawer, so we're gonna see. My cooter is. We're gonna bring this Furby back to life. My cooter 
is tingling. Okay. Sorry, so unprofessional. There's a bunch of rowdy people on the board. Can you hear the people screaming in the back? I kind of want like the Furby to like lose its shit. Let's find out what happens. I don't even know if it's gonna work. Cause that has I not, how to turn it on. I got that Furby the same time I got a you legend know. of Zelda, uh, for yeah, super, for, for on, Nintendo 64. Oh my. There's no, how do you even turn it on though? Don't be careful because I haven't screwed this back in yet. Let's go ahead. In. But it says reset, but how do you turn it on? I will screw it in and I don't screw. Oh my. All right. Clay's working on screwing in the Furby. He's in, but. Remember, like, when the, the Ocarina time? Oh, thank you, Donnell. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, the, are better. Hopefully, 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 the Furby will come to life. Like Ted, turn this on. Can, can bring it to me. Do I have to reset it? I don't know. Let me see. Because him. it's been 900 years. I mean, this hasn't been activated in like 25 years. Let me see. How I'll do you need, turn it oh, on? God, I need more light. Uh, how do you turn them on? It has a reset on it, but I never had a Furby. My mom said that. Well, I you were an outside Roosevelt Field. You didn't have to wait. Well, my mom got one. How do you turn it and on? And it was the first once I came out, and she always kept it in the box. So I don't know. We Here, hit the reset button. So I had to find the batteries and rescrew it, and now I have to figure it. God, you are not there. You are not there. What's this thing that? Why did? Why is that going back and forth like that? Does it move? Does a Furby move? It does move. Now we're gonna find something small enough to reset it. <laughs> and here we go again. I'm like waiting. We're all waiting on with bated breath, Cody, to see if. Well, if what this... do you want from me? I don't even know how to turn it on, John. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it on. Let me Google it. How do you turn a Furby? How do you turn it on? Where is it? Where's the on and off thing? How do you okay. turn on a Furby? Ooh, that I Furby's scary. How do you wake a Furby? Hi. Hi, I'm here. Slap the bottom of the Furby. Skin your Furby. I don't want you to skin my Furby. Well, I slapped it. Nothing worked. Move so. the ears up and down together. The gear should move. Uh-oh. Insert two AA batteries. They're saying you only need two. Well, this one said four. So this one must Into the bottom of the battery compartment. Insert two more AA batteries into the other two spots, overlapping the batteries on the bottom. Flip, flip Furby right side up and wait for it to start moving. Okay, so clearly the fourth battery is dead. And we can't start it. I'll put them in the frying pan. 
So, so much for that. Uh oh, he's moving stuff around. What are you doing? Do we have like one of those like things that like when people get knocked out, like what yes, do someone is to a, just a pack of four a four double A Energizer batteries. 12, yes, we need please. A twelve pack just in case like he needs an extra shock. What's that thing that you break like when people get knocked out, like whatever, and like you go and like you wave across their nose, like smelling salt. I don't know what it's called. Like when they get knocked out. And, like, Smelling salt. Okay. Epsom salt. Maybe that's what he needs. I think he needs four batteries at work. Um, um, maybe he might need some smelling salt because I don't know what to do to help him. And a defibrillator. Clear. Let's, let's jump start him back to life. Oh, no, I slapped his ass very hard. He did. Hard he did slap his ass. His eyes he white, did. but he... It says remove the base and re and the refresh button and then replace the base. I don't know what that means, Susie. None of it's working. That sounds like a sexual thing, and I'm not into that with a burps. Uh, what else is going on while this I'm while I'm holding down like the reset button for like 30 seconds and I feel that like he's looking down my shorts. He probably just is. In case he comes well, along. he's seen all of it already, so it is what it is. No, he hasn't. Guys, I have this whole box of C batteries if you need it. All right, so then the battery must be dead then. So I don't have I never even heard of Procell before. Is it like Duracell? Pro cell batteries. I don't know. They were on sale. So <laughs> A whole box of C batteries. Cody, go take a walk to 7 Eleven. Get some, get some batteries. I'm not taking a walk to anywhere. No. I want to see what he says. Speaking of furbies, look, look what else I got. But I don't have, I don't have batteries, John. I want him to work. I want him to work too, John. Hold on. Now the picture of my ass is free here, so suck it in. Oh, his name is Tiger. How cute is that? Is his name Tiger? Uh huh. It says, "My name is Tiger." Look what else I have, which is a blast from the past. Remember these? There's a cat hair all over it. Yuck. Hold on. All right. Well, he's not going to work, so that's super sucks. Remember these? I really want him to work. I would have had so much time with him. I remember the Tamagotchis? They're probably too old. They were very big when I was a senior in high school. And again, because I had to have the original. Back when these first came out, they were like pretty, they were as popular as Furbies were. And um, like nobody could get the, the original Tamagotchi. They had like the, 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 the dragon lizards, the dino lizards, like whatever. The, Donnell, you never heard of Tamagotchis? Like they were like the little pets and then you, you would have to like feed them. And then they would grow and then you'd have to play with them and stuff like that. And um, I actually won this here. I, I actually won this Tamagotchi here in Seaside Heights when I was still in high school. Well, I just graduated. I was a senior. It was the summer that I graduated high school. And we came down to where here we are, where we live. And um, I actually won this on one of those big giant wheels. And I said, oh, my God, I finally have one. And I've kept it in this box since 1997. And I never opened it, never played with it, thinking that one day this will make me a millionaire. <laughs> and I kind of want to open it. <laughs> At least I know it'll oh, work. We don't have batteries for it. No, I think it comes with batteries. No, it's too old. Those batteries died. Oh, yeah, that's probably true. 
Well, if you've never turned it on before, I would think the battery would still work, no? And like these, like the shapes that they turn into. See, if it's not an egg, it's not the original Tamagotchi. Yep. Had this in a great old, big old box for the last 27, 26 years. So there's that. But like this was like the big craze, and like and then like the Furbies followed it like the next year, so I had to have it. And this I got this out of just pure dumb luck. I want it right here on a wheel. Back when like the boardwalk had like you know good gifts, like good prizes to win. Now it's just all like dumb stuffed animals and candy. Back in the day, like, you used to be able to win nice stuff on the boardwalk. TVs, Playstations, this stuff, cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, so Furby is still, um, he, he's not doing good. He's Furby still, is Furby, the Furby's still down. I don't have batteries for him. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. No batteries. And well, then can you put like the batteries back in the in the cup? To, um... Why we don't use the cup? Well, I do have it sometimes on. Well, when you need it, then I'll put it back in there. I know where they are, then. But Furby's down. Can't afford batteries for the for the Furby. Where'd it go? Sorry. No, the three can sit there. We just keep failing here. Yeah. That's our life. Sorry. Give me one second. Sorry. I'm really disappointed. I don't have the batteries. I'm sorry. And honestly, if we went to 7-Eleven right now, it would be bare. Like, after a weekend, this place is empty. Like, there's, like, nothing in 7-Eleven until they get stocked. Does 7-Eleven even sell batteries? I've never seen batteries. No, Cody's not going to 7-Eleven. I can I promise you. He is not going. He don't care about the Furby. It, that is not that important. I actually <laughs> do want to see the Furby, like, talk to me and stuff like that. But I am not going at 11 o'clock at night. Do you want me to go? You want to take over the live? I'll go. They, I've never seen batteries at our 7-Eleven over there, babe. It's not like a regular 7-Eleven. This is a different 7-Eleven to where they just carry, like, just like toilet paper or like, 
you know, they don't even have shampoo there. Like, you know, it's not like a regular, like big 7-Eleven. So, and I've never seen batteries there. Never. And you know that we go there a lot. Let's all go, Sheila says. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take, I'll, I'll go for a walk for you. If, if you want. And what, take the go. computer with us? No, it'll we'll fall off the Wi-Fi. Can't you just do it off your phone? No, you can't. You can't. They they won't pick up. It's a walk. It's like six blocks away. It's more than six blocks away. Well, whatever. It's, it's, it's like it, it's, it's a good like forty minute walk back and forth. I would say more than that, but ugh. how can I transfer this? I cannot walk down the streets of Seaside on on a holiday with my laptop talking to y'all. It won't connect though. It won't stay connected to our Wi-Fi, and then it is shut off. It is shut off. As soon as we get two blocks down, no, we have cigarettes. Off. See. Cigarettes, yes. Batteries, no. That's okay. We'll, we'll give us something to talk I about. I am not spending like 50 bucks on fucking Yeah, and batteries. plus like the markup here on okay. the battery. Like, the markup here on that. everything this side no. is crazy high. You, Birdie is sleeping. You pay so much more money on this side. Like look at the, the, the crappy chicken we got last night from the grocery store. There were just three chicken that was like as big as my fist. It was this big. It was it was this is this is how big my chicken was last night that we got. Ten dollars. Rotisserie chicken. Here are fourteen eighty nine on this side of the bridge. It sucks. That's what happens when you live Toilet in paper is three dollars for that that dry sandpaper that you get. When you yeah. live in a resort town and you're <laughs> in a season, you are screwed. Like the toilet Everything paper, he's not kidding. It, it's like wiping your over the bridge it's like wiping your ass cheaper. with a brick is what it is and we ain't got gas in the car like so i after i go number two i'd rather i'd rather take my ass and go and wipe it on the side of my house and that would be more comfortable than the toilet paper they give you john goes, here on this why side in, john goes why are you in the shower again i said i just took a shit <laughs> i'd rather wash my ass with fucking water and soap than to use the fucking toilet paper. At least I know I'm clean. No, I can't go to Costco because I don't. I don't need like ninety five rolls of it. We don't have the room for it. We don't have a membership either. The only thing that we want from Costco is our dollar fifty hot dog special. That's the only reason why I'd ever get a Costco membership. Because you just can't beat that. I mean, a dollar fifty, and that hot dog is big. It's a big hot and dog. It looks really good, but we obviously like. I'm not gonna spend the money. And you get you get you get a twenty ounce drink a and a free refill. I mean, it's Pepsi, which I hate, but like I'll I'll I could use I could I could deal with cherry Pepsi. It's fine. Um, but yeah, that's the only reason why I want a Costco membership is so I could eat the um, the dollar fifty hot dog lunch. I mean that that's the big that's the biggest bargain at Costco, if you ask me. But then again, Costco is what like what like fifteen minutes, twenty minutes from us. It's in Brick. So it's like what? No, like it's in Lakewood. Minutes? Bro, is it Brick Brick or Lakewood? I think it's Lakewood, or Brick. That's still like it's like on the border of Brick like and Lakewood. It's away from us, give or take like whatever. So why am I gonna still buy? The membership oh, John, I know, I know, there. you live in the South, but do that. You can't get the Costco pizza. I mean, the Costco hot dog, yes. The pizza is no. The That's pizza. Like 7 pizza. The pizza, no, no. That's Seven Eleven. It's pizza. it's just not a it, it's just no. not a pizza but you want to eat. Hot dog, I would say yes. Hot dog, yes. I mean, because like you know, no matter what kind, of, if it's a ballpark or a Nathan's, preferably a Nathan's, but you know they're not serving no. It's you know it's not Kobe beef. It's Kirkland brand. Um, <laughs> You know it's not that just that good Kobe beef. But listen, we have all the I could I could pack a bag with I could put some relish in my pocket. 
Um, I could bring like the good mustard and we could, I, we could have a little bag of chopped onions and we can make that hot dog work there. We can split that hot dog and be fine. Well, let's not get crazy, Cody. Oh, geez. I mean, it's only a dollar fifty. Look at you being stingy now. You're the one being stingy. You want to split the dollar fifty special? Listen, I, we need to we need to save but as much as we it's can. It's true. I mean, it is true. Yeah, we, we yes, we can. We should. We actually should split. Full, we so should split the hot dog. Going. Hi, can we get the hot dog special for one? <laughs> for <Yeah>. two? <laughs> Instead of the free refill, can we just get two Cokes right now? <laughs> but they don't serve fries or like onion rings. Yeah, so that's okay. We can bring our own. I think it's called, I think it's considered brick when we, when they tell us to pick up front. Let, let me Google that. Let me see Costco. I, but I know it's like right on, right on the border there. Let's see Costco. Um, this one says Brick Township, but I know it's like right there on the border because I know you're right on, on the, the you're right on the other side of the street. So literally on the other side of the street. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Well, isn't aren't all hot dogs mystery meat? Like you don't know what you're eating. Mm -hmm. That's why you dress it up so much. It's my favorite thing. No, that's why they say like some are made with chicken and pork, some are pork dogs, some are all beef. So yeah, that's that's the only reason why I would get a Costco membership. And we do Costco for Instacart all the time. And like I I, I just we don't shop like that. We don't need to get eight million cans of something. Like we don't, don't need, need fifteen it. rolls of bounty. <laughs> like, like what else? I don't need four pounds of ketchup. We don't need three okay. pallets of water. Like I, just, I don't know. I don't know. Like I mean, I don't need like twenty four eggs. Twenty four. That's like the that's it, they come like in in packs of sixty. <laughs> well, then there you go. I think 60 is a small one. Isn't it like 48 and 60? I don't need four packs of watermelons. Oh, like, my God. I just want one, and you can't get just one. Like, damn. Like, it's, I mean, I, although I do like going to Costco because as an Instacart because I know where I, I know that store, like the back of my, my hand. I know where everything is in that store. So almost. It's pretty much why I like going to Costco. But then I then, then I get teased by, by their Kirkland hot dog special for $1.50 and I'm like well we see it every single time and people are sitting down there at their little tables eating like they're like frankfurters and I'm like oh, god they look so good I'm hungry I'm like well we can't we gotta go we don't have Sam's Club over here we have Costco and what's the other one on 37 BJ's. is it no it's is BJ's. it BJ's we got BJ's and Costco. That's the red the one? Ones. The, is that BJ's? Well, I don't know I don't if know BJ's if was... is red, but we got BJ's, Costco, Aldi, um, Acme, uh, Stop and Shop, and ShopRite. Walmart. <laughs> we steer clear of that one. It is they BJ's, okay. Our Walmarts never have anything. Nothing. Yeah, the, Walmart, the Walmarts here suck. I hate Walmart. <sighs> what else we got to talk about? And a wall wall. Well, Susie, just be, be prepared. Better have a quarter. Because you ain't getting a card if you do. Okay, so they give you, like, the membership of, like, the person that, like, obviously that you're buying for. And I've asked that to Cody. I'm like, can we use, like, their membership to, like, buy the hot dog? But I don't know once, because, like, you know, once you go to, to check out. You're being timed. You're being timed, right? So once you go to check out and use their card, then the it's done and then you're being timed and how long also it, it's not like oh john can go like 
start shopping and like doing like that for the customer and then I can go and get a hot dog and like meet up with them? No, because you can't eat throughout the store. Like we do get like, you know, like the little like the samples that people give. That's the only thing you can do. You can't walk around with food or a drink in the store. But Instacart, like when you're like an Instacart shopper, like they time you. Like yeah. they give you the list of things yeah, you need. They, they never tell you where in the store it is, no. right? They, so it's like good luck. It's like uh, Indiana Jones. It's like supermarket sweep. <laughs> like you're really like running, trying to find the Holy aisle, Grail, to find everything, and trying to find somebody that works there. Oh, <sighs> and then like they That's time amazing. you. So that say like I say I found like their thirty five ketchups that they wanted from Costco. Then, like, if they say the next thing on the list is like, I don't know, like jelly, right? So, or honey, you have to find jelly, and they time you how long it takes from the ketchup that you picked up to when you find the jelly, and then they start yelling at you. Yep, they're like, "Hurry up! What's wrong? What's the issue? Are you? Are, is everything okay?" It's very stressful. That's why, like, when we do Instacart, like, I, I, I can't talk to anybody because I'm like, my head's in the game. I'm in the zone. They're like, oh, you want to report an issue? Hi, be kind. Yeah, I want to report all the time because you got. I don't, I don't know where anything is. I'm trying to shop for you guys. If you have you any questions, if you guys, me. if you guys use Instacart and you have any questions, like, now's your time. I'll answer all oh, of them. It's horrible. Yeah, it, it's very stressful. But and like and then it goes in that so if you don't do the order in like in the time they allot you, then like you don't get other orders because of it. Oh, and here's another thing. If you can't find the ish the like the 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 product or the item or whatever you want to call it, and you're like, Okay, well, I can't find it, so this is closest to it. Oh, well, this person actually found it twenty five minutes ago. And this and that, and it's like, okay, well, maybe they only had the one left, and they got it. But oh my it's god, not yeah. here now. Yeah, the vegan but, food's the worst. Obviously, like, me and Cody are not vegans. You know, we <laughs> we love our meat. You know, you see it. We love our pork, our steak, or whatever. So we're not vegans, but oh, like you know, is bad too. there's vegans and um like the keto stuff also like we don't on keto or anything kosher stuff is very hard and they always keep like that stuff in like some it's weird separate. some it's separate, separate area yeah. of the of the grocery store that like you know there's like yeah. no lights down that aisle there, there's like tumbleweed no, it has to be it has there, to there's be like separate because there's like don't want that like an like, old gnome that you have to answer a riddle for to like to find out oh, where this God. shit is like that. Like, you know, it's like the never ending story. It's like the riddle of the Sphinx. Like, you know, where is the vegan aisle? And like, it, it's so yeah, when we see vegan stuff and you know, it's you very it. detailed. Oh my God. In one place. And John and I just split. We split because we're like, okay, we need to go. And then all you hear is John, I found it. Oh, okay, great. I need two. Oh, Cody, look for this. Like, I and they don't this. say, like, just okay, so you know, on Instacart, like, they don't tell you the <laughs> aisle numbers either. It's like, here's your order. There's like 127 items that you have to get. You have this much time to do it, and good luck. And we're, we're counting every second that it takes for you to finish it. And then, like, you know, once you, you find everything, uh, and then you know you check out then they time you how long it takes for you to get to the person's house but they don't count traffic but they don't they also like they're timing you and it's like um okay well you know it's that very we stressful both have two-door cars so no matter like what car we take we're trying to shove all these like 150 freaking like things inside of a two-door car and trying to get to you not counting traffic not counting the lights not counting like the assholes and me and cody do this, this as a team street. and like you and know like most most people do this alone like by themselves you know so i can't even imagine having to do this by yourself because like me and me and cody like we split the list and then we'll, we'll separate and we'll, we'll you know probably like, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, the, 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 you uh, hear, the, all you hear in in the stores is john cody john cody 
Like uh, that's that's what you hear in the store. People are looking at us like like we're nuts. What's a good tip as a driver for a small order, 35 to 40? Instacart default is five percent. I always give at least 10% but extra if the shopper goes out of the way. Uh, I don't know. Like I, you know, if somebody orders something and they don't have it, which is which happens nine t- nine times out of ten. I'll always be the person to to um to DM them like on via the app and say, listen, they don't have this, John takes but they have this. I, I show pictures of it being out of stock. Yeah, I, I show get all the other alternatives, yep. and then I would say seven out of ten times they don't ever reply. So then it's up to you, which is the most annoying thing. Because Please, if you use Instacart do. and your 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 shopper is texting you. Pick up the fucking phone and 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 Answer write back. back. Because and then then it's up to, to me it, to figure you out have time to text back just one damn thing. Like, come on. Because say someone sure. orders like an apple pie and they just sold the last apple pie, but they have blueberry pie and they have cherry pie. Or they have apple pie and, with and extra they have cinnamon. And what if you don't and like then, cinnamon? You know, like, I write you back and I say, listen, they're out of apple pies, but they have blueberry or cherry. I'm not automatically going to replace your item with blueberry or cherry. Because what if you hate blueberry or cherry and it just sits there? I'm not going to do that. And then no one replies. Or people are very like fanatic about their brand. So if they, yeah, you know, that's true. And I like with the pasta. Remember the yeah. time that we had with the pasta, and we're like, oh, it has to be like gluten free and like everything else. And we're like, okay, well, they don't have your brand. So we have this brand, which is still gluten free, and we grabbed both of them and walked around the store, still like trying to the like to get. And they have like else. one side and pile of possible replacements for people. Brand. And we're like, well, fuck. I would say to answer your question, Apple Jacks, if the, if the person's going out of their way, like I normally do, to make sure that you're happy with Be whatever nice you get, them. give them a bigger tip. Um, Be nice to them because they are trying. They are trying. They and, are but trying. most people they don't. They don't shopping. care. And if you don't want to do it yourself, don't yell at somebody else that's doing it for you. I try to be a perfectionist. Otherwise, get in your car and go and do it yourself. And everything I do, and I want everybody happy and whatever. So I know I go probably too, too above and beyond <laughs> sometimes. You but do. I don't want you people do, but, like bitching. Well, that's why you have five stars. I do have five stars. But that's, I mean, it's just common sense. If you don't got something there that they want, well, then what the hell am I supposed to do? And you're not answering me. What am I supposed to do? Like there was this one, this one person who ordered food and we picked it up and then we were dropping it off. The $300 order? The one that we had to travel for. So uh, we dropped it off at like, you know, they were oh, the, all work, the way down to they were working Atlantic retail. City. So we dropped it off at their job. And I'm like, well, we're here. Where are you? And she's like, oh, my God, it's the wrong address. Can you bring it to my house? And I'm like. And it, just Meanwhile, so you, we had another another order. order. So just so you know, like another order in the Inst- trunk. Instacart gives you like three orders at a time. So your order is not alone. People aren't shopping just for your order. I'm shopping for your order and two others at the same time. So you have three different orders. Me and Cody are or three or four. Me and Cody <laughs> are like walk dr- running like two different shopping carts around the store to keep everything separate. Uh, so it's just not your order. Like it's three orders at once. We're like, oh, this is A. Oh, this is for C. Yeah. Oh, this is for B. Oh, here we go. So here. they're yeah. like, it's and not it, easy. it was a big order. And I was like, well, how far away? And they, they were in like Camden. It was like an hour away. And I'm like, oh my God, really? And, you know, I called Instacart and I was bitching. I was so mad. Like, we'll just return all the food back to the store. And you won't have to do it. I'm like, I just spent like two hours picking up their food and they want it. So I drove all the way out there for an hour to drop it off. Meanwhile, I had the other two orders. Yep. Um, and then they actually gave us like a $50 tip, which was nice. And we deserved it. Um, but we did, Well, we deserved more. 
to be honest with you, because she fucked up on that. Yeah, they well. they give you three orders at once. It it just. You, but it, then we got a shitty tip from the other ones. Because right, because they had to we wait. Took so long. We, they to had go to wait out there to drop off their order to come all the way back, almost an hour all the way and, back and I from, town and the other to person, drop off the other. The tip. other person just ordered like three beef steak yeah. tomatoes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I won't forget. He was just I, just I was waiting for like four hours for three tomatoes, and I told Instagram, like, I'm not gonna get yelled like at for being late at night. And I'm like, well, sorry guys. And yeah. Like, when he came out to like pick up like like his food, we're like, we are so sorry. Like, the lady gave us the wrong address, which is the truth. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay, and no tip, obviously, but it's not our fault. It's not our fault. Yeah, but we they have to go by the first one that comes in. That's and it's what it's Instacart confusing does. because like you have to keep everything separate. Like it's not our fault. Um, you know, when there's three orders, like you know, we me me and him are really, and we have like two full carts of like sometimes three carts. And then what the, they start adding shit. Oh, that's the worst, they guys. Start adding Please, shit. if you. They text you and start adding shit to pick this. Please pick this do up, not add up. stuff. But like if it's it one thing, to the tip or anything like that. It's if it's one thing, I don't mind it. But like once, more time because that we're still being time. Then time. you get like the alert that like you know when like so your shoppers at the store and then people once they know you're at the store they add like twenty things to the order and let me tell you something when you start adding. When, when the person's there, A, we don't get paid the anymore. Fare does not go the up. fare does not go up. And the time and does our not time act. stays the same. Oh, I've I, I could I could bitch about Instacart for days. It's and like thank God I have Cody because I, I couldn't even imagine like having three carts. I tell and, all my and, friends, I said, don't do Instacart. Just go ahead and do Uber. Don't do Instacart because Instacart is fucking awful. It's like awful. I only contact you if like there's something that's not there. And I want to make sure that you are happy with my replacement. And if I can't find anything else, like if you're out of bananas, if there's no bananas in the store and you want bananas, I'm like, listen, there's no bananas. If you want another fruit. And then if they don't say anything, I just refund it. And like, well, why didn't you tell me they're not? Oh. I could bitch about this all day. It, it, it's really, it, it's, people think it's easy. It is not easy. It, not it, it, it is not easy it's at not all. Life. It's super, super stressful. You're being timed every second you take. God forbid you got to take a shit or get gas. Um, it, it, it is so, so stressful. It, it really is. It, it, it's you don't get breaks you don't, you don't, don't get know. breaks you don't get to like stop and actually like be like you know what okay like i've been at this for like you know like six seven hours like oh let me just take a break and like just maybe grab a hamburger or like maybe eat a salad or like something no no here's this why aren't you taking that here's this take that like oi hey man oh Everyone's and you see the commercials on TV. Oh, you want to earn some extra money and do this, and they make it all happy, bippity, right, and poppity. Like, no, and no, it's so fucking money. not. No, it's not. Every time we see that commercial, we cringe. We both look at each other and we're like, "Ugh, liars," because it's bull s. It is so not true. Fuck, you ever the word, but you can't say bullshit? Well, so can I say bullshit? <laughs> it's fucking that, bullshit. That's how you draw the line. Well, I, 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 I knew that I was saying the F word. Like, so, okay, so it's <laughs> fucking bullshit. So then there you go. But yeah, I mean, be, be nice to your really Instacart. Cool. Who's me. ever doing your yeah. Instacart order, be like super nice to them. And like, if, if, and when you know you place an order, right? Like keep your phone on you. And sometimes also like maybe you don't get the notification, but like keep your phone thing. on you. Here's another thing. Also, when you're like, oh, okay, well, here's my address. 
and then you put it in and like it's bringing you there but then also they tell you oh but you oh, so Heather, you did it too but john let me finish this oh but you can't use this entrance so you have to go 20 miles out of your way to go around every single thing just to come into the back entrance to come in there and then it re like reroutes every damn thing so uh, john right or wrong oh you can't use the front the, the front gate you have to go around like to to west england to to the other fucking thing and then take the left and then also it's instead of the first right it's the left right and this and that like no get out of your house and do it your fucking self um don't mind us because it's just like annoying and then don't forget when people live like in the third floor of an apartment building and they ordered like five pallets of fucking like 40 cases of water and we have to we have to lug up like you know and when you go to costco oh god the reasons why i hate costco because these people order like cases like 40 packs of water right um you know the 40 like 16 ounce bottles of water which are heavy as hell and they order them by the bulk so they're getting five six it's like a pallet and then you have to lug that up three stories on top of like everything else they got and it's a it's a lot it, it's ba- us, it, it is backbreaking work it is not one easy of us has <laughs> to sit on the fucking hood of the car because we can't fit in the car because of all their goddamn water and the the muffler is scraping and everything else because like the car is like so like heavy down like we don't drive vans we don't drive as no TVs. i have a mustang and cody has like a, a an um an accord i have the accord coupe like we both have two door like sports cars like and you want 50 pallets of okay so like water the other like last week somebody ordered like it bricks. was it was lows oh yeah look okay so how many bricks was it it was a thousand bricks no was it no it was 100 bricks which was two pallets of bricks of red bricks bricks solid red bricks i said are you kidding me how the how huh i told john i'm sorry i don't drive a forklift i said this ain't gonna work i said uh, maybe if they're loose i said maybe we can like put them with like through like my car and like in the trunk i said and maybe we could do it that way i said but let's look and see like how they are we looked at it it came in a pallet two pallets i said oh no i said nope nope that ain't going in my fucking That's car. why when I go Wait, live after like we've been Instagramming all day, I said I'm drained. It's because I am drained. I'm not, you know, I'm not some spring chicken anymore. I may look it, but uh, I'm 40, I am 44. One, and then after <laughs> like, that one, we got another order for three generators. How am I supposed to fit a generator and a two door freaking coupe? Three full size generators. Uh, what yeah for 15 dollars um so what happens if like if you pick it up and then you cancel it you get yelled at and you you know if you cancel so many things then like you won't get orders anymore but i'm usually pretty good with what i take we look at like what we're going to like what we're going to actually like what they're ordering you know they, they give you like a little thing but sometimes you can't make it out they give you like a little graphic of their order but sometimes like the brick thing like i didn't know what that i couldn't tell it was brick it said 100 and then like a little red thing and i'm like oh this seems easy it's one item but 100 of it and then it was 100 goddamn bricks i'm like no <laughs> no Two fucking pallets <laughs> no 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 no, no. And we did like we did the Uber Eats and stuff like that. We did that for two years, um, you know, and that has its issues too, um, as Heather would that would does. would tell, because like, you know when you do Uber Eats, That's a lot of when you go there. to the restaurant, like that order is supposed to be there. When you get there, you pick it up and you leave, and then that that happens maybe three out of ten times. Yeah. Because most of the time when you go to a restaurant, I know Heather can back me up on this one. When you go to the restaurant or the fast food place and try to pick up the order, 
Um, it's not ready. It's not and ready. then there are like 40 other Uber and yeah. DoorDashers and yeah. Grubhubbers there waiting for food. And then you have to wait like an hour sometimes to pick up their food. And then, and then like the fare that and you're picking up is only like, bucks. yeah, 10 bucks on a good day. That, exactly. Meanwhile, um, you still got to drive like 20 miles to drop it off and then drive 20 miles back to the fucking place. And then they, they keep you like, you know, they keep taking you further and further yes, and further away you from your house. You see? Getting further and further away. And then by the time like you're done, like you're like, you know, like an hour away from your house. There was one time that we were, we were almost the PA. We were in PA. And they, they kept sending us further and further. And I, I told John, I said, nope. I said, I am done. And John goes, we got to keep doing it. I said, I don't give a fuck. I said, stop it right now. I said, I want to go back closer to it's home. It's never ready. It's a Pennsylvania. We're in Pennsylvania now. Like, no, 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 no. That's what they do. It's, it's, you know, people think like, oh, it's easy money. Like, they you order know, from here and then deliver it's not the easy money. There. And like, like, what are you doing? Plus you're putting like all the mileage on your car and like, you know, you have to get brakes wear and, and tear, wear and tear brakes. and all that stuff. Yes, the gas, like all of it. And the you know, mileage. Like, when gas no. here is like 380 a gallon, you know, and I have a Mustang, so that's not the best car that's to be doing this in. Mine. We use Cody's car because at least he has like a four cylinder. Um, but yeah, it's fucking awful. by the time you're done working a shift for like ten hours, you, you come home after gas and you, you ate you, you, food and dinner. You're lucky if you like you, you net fifty bucks, and that's on a good day. It's it's a real shit show. <laughs> it's not easy work. It is not, I promise you. Especially people, and then like, oh my God, apartment. And then, you know, when they were in weird apartment complexes, and like, make this left, then make this right, then make this left by the rainbow. Oh, building then, then go down five more buildings, and then there'll be exist. there'll be like a geo tracker over there. Not not the green tracker, but the white tracker. Turn by the white tracker, follow that trail down down five miles, and then you'll find your house. You'll see a Jiffy Lube, and then that's my house right next to it. And it's like, what? Meanwhile, the, your address sends us Horrible. to the one right here in front. So now we have to walk all this crap that you fucking ordered all the way to your house for three miles. And no thank you, no extra, no nothing. So it's like, and then we have to walk all the way back. Horrible. And then three flights of stairs, four flights of stairs. And then they have the, 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 these like impress, these impressive, like, um, hey, Wicked, you know, these are these new, like new apartment buildings, like, you know, these luxury apartment buildings, like where you have to go to like the fifth floor and follow the trail and it's not by the gym and like you're carrying you have, you have no idea how much you're carrying and then go back up and then circle around again and be like oh well here you are like ugh, just go out and get your own fucking groceries yeah, just please and then they bitch well you didn't get this yeah. well you should have answered your phone then you you long. well <laughs> don't live on a fucking complicated goddamn fucking fucking skyscraper sorry i didn't i didn't mean to turn this into a whole instacart bitch session but you know we've, i've been shooting from the hip the last three days and here we are now so well, i know a lot of you do instacart and uber eats and everything else so now you know that it's it's just not e it's not easy it's, it's not, not easy not you know people think oh you're a delivery yes. driver like there's no skill there's no effort you know, yeah, granted, you don't need to go to college to be a delivery driver, but it doesn't mean that it's not like backbreaking hard fucking work. Where we live, like, it's not easy. Maybe down in the South, it might be easy because they don't have like what we have here, but oh Lord, it is not easy here. And you have people that bitch at you all. Oh, and then, and they just love time. to bitch. 
But meanwhile, they can't leave their damn house. Get your fucking ass. I mean, one woman house. yelled at me because like I didn't get, you know, they were out of stakes. Remember? Oh my god. That woman that Yes, I know exactly. That's why I'm we had to go pick up Costco, and you're getting a little crazy life. with the cursing, you know. I'm okay. That's why I said I'm being. Um, you know, we went to Costco, and she wanted like ribeye steaks, and there was one pack left. That and trashy girl. Uh, I got the one pack. I messaged her. I said, "This is all the steak that they have left here. I'll get you this." But like, did you want anything else? And no answer. So we get to the house. And we drop all the food off. Nicey, nice. And then while we're getting into the car, she's saying, I'm missing six. And I said, no, you're not. And she goes, I'm missing six, yelling at me. And I go, no, you're not. I go, the six that you ordered, I, I got for you, but it was only half the order because they, they ran out. And she goes, well, I paid for it. I said, no, you didn't. I said, you didn't pay for the whole order because, you know, everything gets rung through. So that doesn't happen. And she called Instacart on me and said that I was stealing steaks from her. And then she was talking down to me like I'm some idiot. And she was better than me because she lived in this shitty house in brick and i was just a lowly delivery driver that didn't know what i was doing and she goes i'm reporting you i go bitch I, and we stood we yeah, we, we sat did. in front of her house and i called instacart while i was there i go this woman is terrorizing me sure did. <laughs> oh my god and meanwhile you guys we we have to take a picture of the receipt and send it to Instacart and the customer so they know exactly what has been rung up. So you, th there's nobody that can say that you're stealing or adding other stuff and like yada yada to like the order or like whatever. Everything is. And you know me, Paula. Like, <laughs> she can, Paula goes, I don't know how you managed to keep your cool. I would have snapped. You know me. Like, I've only snapped a couple of times. I snapped on that woman. I sure did. I go, you're going to talk down. I go, I go, you don't know who I am. Everything is I go, to the customer you think I'm some piece of shit because I'm delivering food to your house and you're better than me? Oh, I went off on her. Oh, I sure did. I, well, I, 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 broken I, down fucking minivan, a 94 Dodge Caravan sitting in her I went, I snapped on her. With the tire off. I sure did. I Because she treated and me some like, a like I was day. like, the like the out. help. Like, I, like some piece of shit that, you know, it's just too stupid to, to, to live, but I, and I can only deliver, deliver food and, Ooh, <laughs> I went off on her. <laughs> I sure did. That was that bagel, that, that bagel girl too. I still have her address too. I'm like, Oh, I remember want to go back. I want to <laughs> John, remember the, ugh. The, ugh. You didn't get this other type of mm -hmm. cream cheese, did it? Well, you didn't answer back. So what do you want from me? I'm not going to wait my whole life inside of a store waiting for you to respond. Ooh. I don't care if you have 80 kids. And I you looked should have kept your fucking legs. Closed. I looked at Cody. I said, this is probably going to be our last order because I was not going to have this friggin' woman. And I go, since this is such a problem, why don't you leave your house and get your own grocery? She goes, well, I have five kids, so I can't. I said, well, nobody told you to have five kids. Can you close your legs? Oh, I, oh. Sure did. I sure did. I sure did. She goes, well, I have five kids. I can't sure leave the house. Well, you I should was, have thought about that before you opened your legs, didn't you? To get out of the like, I, and this is why this is why we were punches. sitting in front of her house. We were going back and forth. She goes, well, you're still sitting in front of my house. I said, damn straight I am. I, I said, I'm on the phone with Instacart right yep. now. She had nothing else to <laughs> say. She she thought she was talking to some fucking idiot. No, honey. We are. Not I I sure talking. did. I'm sorry, but we are not. I sure did. I said, close your legs if you can't fucking buy your food. Then I can't leave the house. I have five kids. Well, that's not our problem. 
That's not our problem. Go get your and the only Sorry, problem was it was a giant a, order. It was a giant, giant order. Everything was perfect. I got everything she wanted except everything. half the order of steaks was missing. She wanted seven ribeye steaks, and I remember it like it was yesterday. And I got her three, and because they came like you know they came three or four to a package. It's three. Um, and she wanted like six or seven and she only got one package she and seven. she lost her shit. And I said, not today, honey. I said, and go out and get your own groceries. And said, I can get you two separate ribeyes to add up to that, but they're actually more money. And she never responded. So what you did was just get her the one three pack that she asked for in the first place. I said, Cody, this is probably going to be our last order because I am I am letting her. And she was just so mean. Like, I was some servant. I mean, they had other ribeyes, but she wanted to only spend that type of money on those ribeyes. And I'm sorry, but okay, well, do you want this or do you want that? And if you don't respond, well, then you're only getting what, the, what you're asking for. And then the other money was... But what did people do before Instacart when they had five kids? They went, they they found a way to get to the store, didn't they? I mean, like Instacart's new. What did y'all do? A car before, like Instacart existed. Like it's called a car. You 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 went all your kids. You went to the store and you drove to the damn store. You went to the store, didn't you? Or you had a nanny that did all that shit. Or a housekeeper, or I mean, this woman had no nanny, no housekeeper, no maid. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's, I mean, Jesus Christ. And it really makes you like feel for people, like you know, who like aren't capable of like getting a good job, or who maybe it didn't have the benefit of going to college or, you know, some people it's like that's, that's all money. they can do is, is, you know, make money that way you and support their family yes. and to treat somebody so shitty like that, like, you know, because, because I'm some delivery driver, I'm just a dumb piece of shit that, that that's not worth anything. But meanwhile, they're staying home no. with a, with a loose cooch. Meanwhile, your fucking front door's hanging off. You, you got like one of your windows boarded up, and you're gonna sit here and fucking judge me, okay? And huh. scooters hanging out in the, <laughs> in the, in the fucking road a broken swing with set. Every damn thing that we have to, it looks like a hurricane. A half deflated tire swing, and you're gonna sit here and judge town, me. But yet, you're gonna sit there and say something. No, okay. not today. Go wash nope. your panties if you have them. Oh, it's so aggravating. Like, it's, it's, oh. Johnny, I gotta go in here because Cody's getting heated. No, because I don't want you to get mad at me. Like, right, Heather? Like, same. Four de- I, as I famously have said, you right. know, that I were talking about, I have four degrees. Like, you know, I do this as side money and whatever. Um, you know, and people just think like you know they treat you like you're like a ma- we're, like a we're your slave. yeah i no. don't think so i don't know these hands went to college they did uh-huh. yes so did these uh-huh don't think so and i think most of the people do instacart because it's impossible to make a good a good living off instacart it is i really is now we make good money doing the Uber. Um, the Uber Eats. We made we made really good money because it was right when COVID hit and we were doing it in New York City and New Jersey. So I mean, like we were ground zero and nobody was leaving their house and nobody had yeah. left their house for months. So when we were doing the Uber back when Rona just hit, and I was doing it right before Rona hit, and we you know, and we were making really good money. And it was actually nice because we didn't have to even see the people yeah. or anything. They just drop at the door, take a picture, boom, your food's here. Bye. That was nice. That was nice. 
Yeah, me and Cody would like work in our own cars and we would um we would work 10 hours. I mean, I was pulling in like 1700 a week. Cody was like pulling in like a thousand and just for delivering food. Yeah, John always got more because he was, I was doing it before was, him. Yeah, he would he had like the they do you on a status thing. And it's like gold status, platinum, uh, diamond, everything else. So that he was doing it way before I was. So he was like top dog. So he was getting more and more and more. But I was well because like you know when COVID hit, like a lot it. of people started doing that to make money because a lot of people were out of work. But I was doing it prior to he when was. it hit. Yep. So they gave me like you know when Cody started doing it, it was after it was already after COVID had hit and like everything shut down. Yeah. So they weren't giving him as many as they were giving me because I had seniority. Um, he had a lot more deliveries yeah. than I did. So he was. And that was good. There. That was, was, I will say, on the higher, that was like, really good money. Pole. And there was nobody on the road. So like it took like, uh -huh. it, there was no traffic. You dropped uh -huh. the food off like immediately. Yep. Um, and there, there was no, no traffic. There was nobody in the restaurant. So like, you know, the food was always ready. Um, it was there. It was ready yeah. with the name on it. Boom. You just grab it and go. I mean, I was doing like 50 orders a night. Uh, and we would do it for 13 hours. Yeah, we did. And sometimes, oh my God, remember that one time when they actually yelled at they us? They yelled, yeah, they said, you have to get and offline they, now. Yeah. <laughs> so like, okay, you have like 15 minutes and then you have to get off or we're cutting you off. I remember that time. <laughs> and then, like, you know, we stopped doing the Uber Eats because, like, now it's like, you know, they'll pay you, like, $5 for an order. And that $5 order takes you, but you know, between getting to the place where the food's not That's ready. That's all the gas that you And then you got to, the like, drive to the place. You know, you're getting $5 for, like, 45 minutes worth of work. That's, and a that's dollar less than minimum 40 wage. Tip. Oh, my like, God. I was, I was, that? Heather, I was banking that stuff. Like, do you remember, like, back, you know, I know a lot of you, remember me back, like, three years ago when I would go live from my car all the time and we would we'd be Ubering and, like, that, I, I was pretty much living in my car doing that, like, every day, every day. Because we were back in the motel then and, like, you know, Cody and I had just gotten back together and, you know, we were, we were rebuilding our life, so we needed a lot of money. Um, and that's what we did. And then, like, you know, they had promotions. If you do, like, so many orders in one night, they'll pay you. Oh, Wicked Wisdom, thank you. Oh, heebity beebity. Oh, thank you, Wicked. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, sweetheart. I really appreciate it. I, I only wish that I could get super chats on Instacart. <laughs> like, I, that would be, like, the best. I wish it was on Cash App. <laughs> But it's a real bitch and it's not easy work. I just, you know, whoever uses, you know, Uber Eats, and I've never like ever, because maybe because I'm an Uber Eats. Yeah, that well, that's when we we are at our highest, right? <laughs> it was bad, man. You know, we we had, you know, we lived it was like those couple of years where we were just downtrodden and um but Uber Eats really got us out of it. And, you know, that money with the YouTube money I started making got us into our house and whatever. Um, and here we are. Well, but you can say it, John. I also got, I also got sick. I got sick and things. Kind lighter, of fell my back. secret went out. But I'm, I won't really say, it, but we're, oh, I mean, we're fine. Don't shut up. I guess just be quiet. I know. I'm just saying though, it's not, it's not just everything like that. Like I got sick. I got real sick. Wow. We've been live the last three nights. This has been cheating around 200 over 200. And I, I guess I have y'all's attention about Instacart and Uber Eats. <laughs> like <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but just be nice to your drivers. Like I will, I've never ever had Uber Eats. I never used it to order food for myself because I know, you know, I know that sometimes that your food will be sitting there, either your food's sitting there for a long time because they make the food right away. So when you go to pick it up, it's sitting there, it's old and cold. And I don't, you know, I don't, I know too much about Uber we're Eats just, to like ever, ever want to use it. We're just the driver. 
we're not the ones that's making it. We're not the ones like. Because Heather, you know that too, right? Anything. Sometimes you go there and the we're food's been sitting there. Because people like people deny the orders, right? So if someone ordered this food and the restaurant made it and then like it was canceled and or somebody else didn't want to pick it up and they cancel it, then it's been sitting there and it's cold yep. and gross. And then you pick it up and you don't know any better, but you know, it's not steaming hot like it should be. And you drop it off and then you get a bad review because you got they got cold food. And people just love to bitch, obviously. People will bitch about anything. That. So I never, I never, I've never used um, Uber Eats to like bring food to our house. I've also, someone got us an Instacart gift card once and um, we used it at one time to have people Instacart to our house. But other but than that, that regular food. other that than that, like, we've never like used Instacart like either. I, I would just rather only... go. And meanwhile, to the store. it was all messed up also. It was nothing hardly that we even ordered. Because I'm telling <laughs> you, most I people out of, the, out of the hospital, most shoppers, they don't care. It was wrong. If, but... if, the, if they'll, they'll replace <laughs> something on their own without asking you, they don't care or they'll refund it. They'll just grab it. Or I really go above and beyond. They really don't care. You, you actually like, that's what aggravates me because John will spin. Even if it goes over the top. And I'll be sitting on the floor he, with three yes, different brands of yes, food yes, showing yes. them pictures of it. Taking pictures and showing it and then he'll put it in the cart and then he'll wait to hear back from somebody and then be like, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, thank you, Mel B. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mel B. And then he'll be like, okay, it, um, they want the other one and not this one or not this one. So put this back so i'll run and i'll put that back and he's like okay grab two more they want two more of the, the like these and the, the, grab that grab that instead so then i'll run from aisle to aisle to aisle to to uh, it is uh. when we say we're tired we are tired <laughs> we are tired y'all <laughs> hey rita yeah it's it's a lot. We are tired. <laughs> now people get mad. Why aren't you texting me back? It's because we're getting timed. It's people get mad at me. <laughs> I'm like, I can't talk to you when I'm, and also like, I can't also concentrate on like the shows and stuff like that, you know, because who has time to go through stories and see, you know, if friggin', um, if, if what's her name, if Debra, you know, Shama's fighting. It, it, Who it, cares? It, you know, I I can't check W you know Shama's page. Oh, big war! Because I don't know if it, you know because I'm so busy, and by the time I get home, I'm drained like Debbie. Um, sorry, I haven't done Debbie in a bit. I love doing her voice. So <laughs> you were perfect. Though. You were perfect. <laughs> I miss doing Debbie's voice. Oh, that's old Shama. Um. So it, it, it's just, you know, it's not easy. And yeah, it doesn't take, you know, a brain, a, um, a brain surgeon to do Instacart or a rocket scientist, right? You know, it takes nerves of steel <laughs> pretty much. That's what, that, that's what it takes because you got to deal with these. But people. it is a pride <laughs> swallowing fucking suck fest of being timed and it's like supermarket sweep like without the fun or the bonuses and like i said like i don't know i, I couldn't do it uh cody because people do it by themselves and there's no way that they can do that there's no way i mean you have pallets and pallets of water how are you supposed to do that in a certain amount of time it's tiring so please just don't think that like, you know, your delivery drivers are beneath you because that's a horrible way to think. It is. You know, there are people who are it just really trying is. to make a wage and they're doing this. I have a degree. You have four. To like, make make money for their families. And it's and still hard for Nobody them. would be doing Instacart or, or, or Uber Eats. Oh, thank, oh, Mel B. Oh. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Mel B, for that. I'm, have you heard of Oshama? Um, because of that, because of that ten dollar super chat, I'm gonna I'm gonna have him write you a a, a poem or or maybe a song. Um, he's a lyricist, and um, you I'll know, send you my my tiger. He, he he works really hard. Okay, Mel B. So for, I'm I'm gonna reach out to Oshama for you, Mel B. And um, <laughs> oh my God. Um, <laughs> I don't See, even know how we, we have each other to like actually bring each other up because we have fun always. But could you imagine one single person like seriously like doing this and then coming home and like just being like, oh my god, what a day! Like, oh, I feel bad. It's just people that. like make fun of it, especially with me. They make fun of me for being like you know the delivery driver. Whatever, I don't care. It's fine. Oh, but sure. if you knew like the yeah, backbreaking sure. work that went into you it, you'd understand. It's just hard. And I don't know how we went from the Furby conversation in the beginning of this live because I have no batteries to uh, an Instacart. I'm missing one battery. Okay, good night, Jay Freak. Love you, sweetheart. One battery. Uh, That's we went from know. the Furbies to Instacart, but. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. It's not, like, you know, thankfully, me and Cody are both, like, you know, we are both verified through Instacart so we can work together. I don't know. We see people, like, in, like, you know, Aldi or, like, whatever. And you, you could always tell, like, the Instacarters when you're in the supermarket because they have, they have the phone. They have, have the, the checklist. Scan they're scanning things. Yeah, you have to scan uh, So you, you could always phone. see them in the store. Like, we know what to look for anyways. And, you know, we'll talk. And, like, you know, it's, it's shitty because, like, you know, It'd be nice if, like, Instacart or Uber Eats or whatever, like, had, like, a function, right? Like, where, like, you know, like, maybe, like, a Christmas party or, like, an event. A bonus? Or a bon a bonus. How about a bonus? How about, like, a bonus for people who work their asses off? Because you don't get that either. Um, And it would be nice to have, like, something, like, where, like, you know... A bunch, you know, people in the area can go meet and hang out, have a drink or, or whatever. And, you know, on Instacart's time. Um, but. No, it, all they have is a, a um, commute tab to where you can talk to other like Instacarters, but that's it. No, you can't talk to other Instacarters. Yes, you can. No, you can't. I'm on the app right now. Show me where I can talk to other Instacarters. I saw it on there before. Babe, you there's... cannot. Okay, maybe it was Uber. Okay, maybe I'm sorry. I have to, okay, you can't. maybe I'm wrong. I'm sorry. So then maybe it's Uber. But, like, you can talk to, like, other people and, like, whatever. And, like, you can discuss, like, you know, where to go and, like, this and that. But I saw it somewhere. It's it's probably not Instagram. It, it must be Uber then. How about a bonus? Like, you know, like, what, like, like with it's Uber. A like, we, a bonus. Were, we were putting, like. 50, 60, 70 hour weeks in for Uber every week. Do you think we got a Christmas bonus or anything from them? And like the annoying thing is like, you know, they, they have like the, these different platforms. Like, oh, if you're at this platform, you, you get free gas with this app. Well, okay. The app that gives you reduced gas. Wait, let me show. Wait, wait, what is it? Oh, the one that we don't get? Yeah. It's not applicable in New Jersey. So like... We don't so get, we get nothing. We don't get anything. Zero. What is it called? Um, wait. Do, 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 do. You know, extra savings that. on oil changes, but which we don't get. They're they're places that aren't in the state, so we don't get that. Um, more cash back on gas, so you have to get the um the upside. So they say, um, download this upside link and then like we'll show you where to get like cheaper gas and then guess what you open up upside and it says oh it's not applicable in new jersey go fuck yourself <laughs> so like it's so crazy no, perks from it no zero point no zero perks. zero perks and i'll show you wait where's <laughs> upside i'm not no i'm perks. not making this up where is it hold on no fucking perks but they're doing us the favors 
I do have to say though, with Uber, Uber Eats, they actually do when you have like a flat tire and stuff like that, because I've had plenty of flat tires up there driving in, um, in what is it, um, in Newark and stuff like that. You know, obviously we all know the roads are not good there and stuff like that. And I've had plenty of flat tires, right, right or wrong, John. So you you open it up and they they only give you like from they give you discounts on restaurants. I don't need restaurant discounts. I want I want my cheap gas. Uber was a lot better. Grid wise. All right, I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna look that up. But New Jersey, they will. There's no like, at least with upside, you cannot use. There's no. There's no cheap gas in New Jersey for for upside at least. And that's like you know, um, Instacart's partner in this. Oh, <sighs> Sorry, give me one second. Anything else we got? Any other questions you guys have? While we're being so free spirited. Oh, Wicked, don't forget tomorrow night's 90 day. So. I watched the first 45 minutes of it. I can't not not wait to talk about it. <laughs> and if you're Catholic, um, Wicked, make sure you say the Hail Mary, like what's her name says tonight, like very animated. Like, Hail Mary, full of rice. Uh, I never seen anyone pray like that before, but okay. The Lord is with thee. So I've never heard anybody pray like that in my life. Talk about like hamming it up for like the cameras. <laughs> oh God. They all suckered me into doing the, the before again. Um, mm -mm. I'm just waiting for happily to come back on. And I really want to leave the show to be done with it. So that's it. That's all I got. I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a very long, draining last couple of weeks. but I'm unemployed. <laughs> so, even though I work like 14 jobs, but that's fine. It's cool. Hey, how do they show, how do they show, wait, on the other way? Oh God. Yeah, I'm good. Have fun. I'll point you into the direction of somebody who will recap that show for you because between those two couples, no. I'd sooner fucking melon ball my eyeballs out than, and, and, and puncture my eardrums and have to listen and see. Nope, no thanks. Uh-uh. I mean, does anybody believe any of this anymore? Even watching tonight, it's like the young and the restless. I, I don't... I don't know how people think any of this is genuine or authentic or, or hopefully happily comes on next after before. I think it will. I think I was told August. Um, and then after happily it's over, I'm out. So that's all I got. 
Y'all have a great night. Thanks for joining. And I will see you tomorrow night on a very exciting before the 90 days recap where we'll talk about how fake everybody is and how I don't believe it. Can't wait for it. I will see you guys then. And don't forget, if you are, if you have somebody who is picking up your Instacart order or an Uber Eats order, just yeah, treat them cool. with like a skosh of kindness and answer them back when they message you. And for Christ's sakes, put your goddamn outside light on yes. when, it, when, when it's nighttime. If you're asking for food and you want it to delivered at nighttime, turn your light on. Put, put your outside light on when you're ordering stuff at night. So people like me and Cody are, who are straining to find your house, put the light on. You have every light in your house on, but the outside light on. You can't turn on. When, you, when you're expecting so someone on. to show. Turn your lights on. It, it, that's the limit. Turn it on. God forbid we keep the outside light on. Put your, if you don't have, you're spending outside, all this money for Instacart and listen, Uber Eats, this, and you have every light on in your know, house. You know because you see how like how close we're getting to your house. If you don't have an outside light, I can understand that. Okay, but put on your flashers on your car to let us know like that's your house. You don't know what we have to walk through or the bushes that we have to go through. And the through GPS is not you. always right. So get the hell out of here. If you can't do that shit, well, then don't be ordering. The GPS is not always right. Like, you know, they, they bring you to, like, a place where, like, where, like your house is still, like, three houses down. I'm going to block you and we will not be delivering to you. Just keep your outside light on. I mean, like, I, I think it's common courtesy. Like, we keep our light, our outside light oh, on. I don't care. Every night. We're not getting no deliveries, but it's still <laughs> on. It's still on. And hopefully tomorrow we'll get the Furby to work. So those are my 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 three things to tell y'all. And if anybody needs some C batteries, I got a whole box worth of them. So I'll trade you. there's that. Double A's for C's. A whole box. And more. So, I pulled off the hat trick three nights in a row of coming on live with nothing. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh. I had nothing to go live about. And then so tomorrow night we'll be doing 90 Day. And then Tuesday, I think we're going to be doing OC. Wednesday, I don't know. Thursday is going to be a um, roll the dice. Just lots of things happening on Thursday. So um, we'll see how that works out. If our, um, I'm, I'm not used to Jersey not being anymore. And then we're going to, we're going to pick up sister wives again. Um, this is, this is going to be a crazy week. So that's all, but we'll be back tomorrow night for 90 day. And then I'll have a better idea of the schedule for the rest of the week. So y'all have a great night and I will see you tomorrow. Take care everybody and leave your light on. I'm going to like, that's going to be my thing. My sign off now. Like, like Bob Barker. Don't forget to get your pets spayed or neutered. Um, <laughs> that's going to be my thing. And good night from Johnny Aids. And don't forget to leave don't your light on. The cash apps. <laughs> and also to leave your light on. Good night, everybody.